Hello everyone, this is Sahim and welcome to another new video. Today I'm going to go to city uh, to get a birthday gift for my friends. I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but I'm thinking of books or candles, but I'm not sure. So I'm probably gonna wandering around the malls. This week is very very gloomy outside and it's gonna be rainy uh, during the whole week. buying a book for a birthday gift which is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I met her in the class and she speaks English as a second language. When I caught up with her in the wood a few weeks ago, she wanted to get a book. We had wandered around the Dylan's bookshop but uh, eventually she couldn't get anything because she didn't know what she wanted to read and what she wanted to try. Also, she wasn't sure if she could read. So that's why I picked up a book for her today. I tried to find the most familiar book for an international person and an easy read book. She's going back to Japan in August, which is next year, next, next month. I'm not sure how difficult it is to find English resources or English books, English learning resources in Japan. So I hope this book can help her. I got a birthday card as well, but it doesn't look like a birthday theme. But look at this beautiful illustration. So I just decided to get it as a birthday card. Also, I got a book for myself uh, because I accidentally found a book that has a beautiful aesthetic book cover that I was looking for, which is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Hello everyone! I thought I forgot to mention that I finally got a new Procreate brush and I ended up choosing Korean brush pack. While I was drawing with oil pastels over the past few months, I really liked the texture and I wished I could draw with the texture digitally. I couldn't find oil pastel brushes that I really really wished. So I tried to find brushes that had similar texture. That's the reason why I decided to get a crayon brush pack. I found it from Creative Market and the price was $9. This art is the first drawing with a brush and I really 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 satisfied with the purchase so far. Hello everyone, last night I drew an animation. Let me show you. The drawing I created last night is actually inspired by a book and the movie called If Cats Disappeared from the World. I've been thinking of making fan art of the book and movie 
for a long time and I also wanted to animate it, the drawing as well. I really satisfy how it turned out. The original story from the book and we made the story from the movies a uh, little bit different but I really love the pose. So to animate the drawing I made four different frames. If you haven't seen the movie or if you haven't read the book you will realize why I drew the clock, photos and also you will recognize what is this. They are all really important parts in this book and in this movie, in this drawing. I'm also working on another animation and still haven't finished it yet. Um, in this animation, I'm going to animate uh, only the books. So the books will be turning pages. Today is supposed to be rainy all day, but it is actually very sunny. So I'm thinking of going to the botanic garden and bring my uh, some art supplies. I think I will bring uh, my mini sketchbook and some pens. I actually happen to show you guys how I draw sketches outside or how I draw doodles outside. So hopefully I can show you guys today if it doesn't rain uh, afternoon. It is around 11 16 so let's get ready with me now. I'm going to bring my a farmer's vegetable tote bag. It is 40 square size, which is, is a perfect size to carry a lot of stuff. This is the only pencil case I own and it is a very very small size. So I'm going to bring only a few color pencils with me. I chose only brown and yellow colors. I like using yellow colors these days, so I paint with uh, lots of the yellow, different yellows, uh, digitally and traditionally. Also, I'm going to bring a scrunch because uh, sometimes my hair is distracting me. So I'm going to bring a book. It was uh, one of my last birthday present. I love the movie Matilda very very much. I watched the movie when I was a kid a lot of time. And also I am still love even though I'm an adult. Because it is very nostalgic and I really love the quarters theme in the movie. But I actually happened to read the book. I I read by um, 185, no, 187th. So I think I can finish this book on the bus to uh, the Botanic Garden. And there's an umbrella just in case. And snack, it's a Korean snack for my energy. I think it's a little cooler, so I'm going to bring scarves just in case. I don't want to keep cold. Garden located uh, right next to the Botanic Garden. It is very close to Botanic Garden, so it is actually the first time to visit here. I think I think it'd be nice to come here uh, and bring uh, some art supplies and bring some food and have a picnic here during spring when more roses bloom. When I feel an outside and talk to camera, I still feel very very nervous and shy, especially when I sense people feel like coming. No way, I'm going to chill here and start the drawing.
so I'm going to find another spot to draw. I'm sure there's a museum um, that displays lots of botanical things. And I actually haven't been there, so I'm trying to find where it is. The museum closed temporarily and it was the saddest thing happened in my life so I'm going to head off home. It was so lovely to draw outside. I think I should bring um, my iPad next time. So today I'm not going to tell what I ordered because I'm going to film about it uh, in the next video really really soon. I'm really excited to unbox it all of them as well as so I'm really super super excited to show you all in the next video. By the way it is pouring rain. I think a big storm is coming here. It was very grateful that it wasn't raining yesterday when I was in the botanic garden. this video properly yet so I'm going to ending this vlog here thank you so much for watching I've been enjoying crayon brush very much and I will need to get more brush in the future for example watercolor or gouache I hope you have a wonderful lovely day and I'll see you in the next one bye